Sometimes the only way to fight the devil is to preach the gospel. And when you don't have anybody to preach the gospel to, sometimes you got to preach it to yourself. And I need to remind myself how I got saved. The way I got saved, whether this matches what I've always said or not, is simple. I believe the gospel. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins and was risen from the dead by God. That's it. Nothing else. If I add anything else to it, I always get myself in trouble. And I'm always tempted to add things to the gospel because I'm a legalist by nature and I struggle with assurance of a salvation because I look at myself all the time and I think, how am I doing? Especially because I'm aware that the Lord is coming to get his church soon. I start to think, oh my, I'm going to see him soon. How am I doing? That's a problem. Because when I look at myself, I see nothing good. Unfortunately, I have flesh. And it's loud, obnoxious, and wrong. And condemned fully by God's law. But, praise the Lord, I've been justified by faith in the blood of Jesus. And you know what? I'll bet that my life doesn't look as bad to God as it does to me. You want to know why? Because when I look at my life, I look at my flesh, and I look at all the sin, and I look at this body of death, and I look at the wretchedness and the self-righteousness and the hypocrisy, and the inward thoughts and the coldness of heart, the hardness of heart, the unbelief, the vacillating. And I think, how could I be a Christian? This is not what the Bible tells me a Christian should look like. But you know what? When God looks at my life, he sees Christ because he's not looking at my flesh. He judged that on the cross and crucified it with his son. And you know what else he did? He raised his son from the dead and he put his son in my heart. And when God looks at me, he sees not the outward vessel, but the inward reality, which is Christ himself. And you know who else sees Christ himself in me? The devil. And you know what he does? He comes and accuses me and says, you crummy, no good, backslidden, vacillating, adulterous, lying hypocrisy. All the darkness that you see, I see it too, and so does God. And you know what? There's no way you're going to be with the Lord for eternity. You're going to be in hell, because look at you. But you know what? God says, Oh, look, my beloved son, in whom I'm well pleased. Who is that in your heart that I see? The one that I draw near to. The one whose fragrance I love. Oh, that's my son, the one who defeated the devil the one who ascended to the heavens and presented his blood on your behalf and stands before me interceding for you and has sent his spirit into your heart where he cries, Abba, Father, and makes you my precious son because you're hidden in him. And guess what, devil? Your days are numbered and you can't accuse my children for much longer because I'm going to bring an end to it. Praise God. Boom. Mic drop.